In this video, we're going to focus on using the factor theorem to solve polynomial equations. So what exactly is the factor theorem? Well, here's the basic idea of it. Let's say if f of c is equal to 0, then x minus c is a factor of f of x. Now the reverse is true. If x minus c is a factor, then f of c is equal to 0. Now c is considered to be a 0 of the function. In this case, 3 is a 0 of the function. So you could say c is 3, which means that f of 3 is equal to 0. And that means that x minus 3 is a factor. So if x minus 3 is a factor, then that means that this function is divisible by x minus 3. So we can use synthetic division or long division and divide it by x minus 3. So what is x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 divided by x minus 3? Let's use synthetic division. So we need to use c. c is 3. And then let's write the coefficients. 1x cubed, negative 4x squared, 1x, and 6. Let's bring down the 1, and then let's multiply. 3 times 1 is 3, and then add. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, and then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And this gives us a remainder of 0 because f of 3 is equal to 0. So now, if we take x cubed divided by x, that's going to give us x squared. So this is 1x squared minus 1x minus 2. So x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 divided by x minus 3, that's equal to x squared minus x minus 2. Now, if we multiply both sides of that equation by x minus 3, we can see that x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6, it's really x minus 3 times x squared minus x minus 2. Basically, you take this and just move it to the other side. So notice that we just factored this cubic polynomial function. So x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 is equal to x minus 3 times x squared minus x minus 2. So now all we need to do to completely factor this expression is factor this quadratic expression or trinomial. So can we factor that expression? Is there two numbers that multiply to negative 2 but add to negative 1? This will be negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So this is going to be x minus 3, let me write that better, times x minus 2 times x plus 1. So now this expression is completely factored. And since that expression was equal to 0, this expression is equal to 0 as well. So now to calculate the value of x, we need to set each factor equal to 0. So the zeros of the function are 3, 2, and negative 1. We were given one of them, which is this one. 3 was the zero of the function, and the other two are 2 and 1. So that's how you can solve the polynomial equation given one of the zeros using synthetic division. So the answers are 2 and negative 1 in addition to 3 as well. Number two, solve the equation 12x cubed plus 16x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. And we're given that negative 3 over 2 is a root. So that means that negative 3 over 2 is a 0 of the function. So let's divide using synthetic division first. So this is going to be 12. 16, negative 5, and negative 3. 
So let's bring down the 12. What is negative 3 over 2 times 12? So you can multiply, then divide, or divide, and then multiply. Negative 3 times 12 is negative 36. Divided by 2, that's negative 18. Or you could say 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Now, 16 plus negative 18 is negative 2. So now we need to multiply negative 3 over 2 by negative 2. So the 2's cancel, and you're just going to get positive 3. Negative 5 plus 3 is 2, negative 2. And so negative 3 over 2 times negative 2 again, that's going to be 3. And so the remainder is 0, which confirms this fact. So now we need to factor this expression. Let's turn this root into a factor. So x is equal to negative 3 over 2, and that's a terrible looking 3. Now to turn it into a factor, multiply both sides by 2. So the 2's cancel, and we can get rid of the fraction. So 2x is equal to negative 3, and then add 3 to both sides. So 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So this is the factor that corresponds to this 0. And notice that 12x cubed, well, what do you think this has to be? Let me take that back. This is going to be one less than the exponent that you see here. So this is going to correspond to 12x squared, and then negative 2x minus 2, followed by the remainder. So we could say that the original expression, 12x cubed plus 16x squared minus 5x minus 3, that's going to equal our factor that we had at the beginning, 2x plus 3 times what we now have here, and that is 12x squared minus 2x minus 2. And so all of this is equal to 0. Now we need to factor this expression. So let's focus on that. The first thing we could do is take out the GCF. So it's going to be 6x squared minus x minus 1. Now let's multiply 6 and negative 1. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 but add to the middle coefficient negative 1. That's going to be negative 3 and 2. So this is going to be 6x squared and we're going to replace negative 1x with negative 3x and plus 2x. And then we need to factor by grouping. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms. The GCF is 3x. 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. And negative 3x divided by 3x is negative 1. So in the last two terms, if there's nothing you could take out, take out a 1. If you do, you'll be left with 2x minus 1. So notice that these two are the same which means we're on the right track. So to factor it further, if we take out 2x minus 1, we'll be left over with 3x and then plus 1. So to completely factor this expression is going to be 2x plus 3, and then we have a 2, and then a 2x minus 1, and then a 3x plus 1, and all of that is equal to 0. So now, Let's finish solving the equation. So let's set the three factors equal to 0. So that is 2x plus 3, 2x minus 1, and 3x plus 1. Now first, let's subtract 3. So we'll get 2x is equal to negative 3. And then if we divide by 2, we can see that negative 3 over 2 is a root. And this is the one that we're given. This is the one that we started with. Now the other ones is the ones that we're really looking for in this problem. 
So if we add 1 to both sides, we can see that 2x is equal to 1. And then if we divide by 2, x is also equal to 1 half. And for the last one, we need to subtract both sides by 1. So 3x is equal to negative 1. And then if we divide both sides by 3, x is equal to negative 1 third. So these are the other two answers we're looking for. 1 half and negative 1 third. So now you know how to solve a polynomial equation using the factor theorem. Thanks again for watching.